In the 40s and 50s, the scientific community was in the midst of a debate as to whether proteins or DNA were the genetic material. A multitude of experiments were conducted to answer this question. One of the most well-known were conducted by Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase in 1952. Hershey and Chase decided to find the answer to this pressing question using a simple model organism that could be easily observed and manipulated, a bacteriophage. Bacteriophages, such as this example, are, are viruses that attack bacteria. It's encased in a protein shell and stores DNA within the capsid head. Bacteriophages, like all viruses, reproduce through a process called the lytic cycle. This begins with the virus inserting genetic material into the cell. The cell is then forced to manufacture copies of the virus, which then lice the cell and repeat the process. By using radioactive markers, Hershey and Chase could figure out whether proteins or DNA were being inserted into the bacteria, and therefore which was the genetic material for bacteriophages. To mark the proteins on the virus coat, they used a radioactive sulfur isotope, 35S, and for DNA, they used a radioactive phosphorus isotope, 32P. They then allowed the bacteriophages to infect unlabeled E. coli bacteria. The samples were then run through a blender and then centrifuge to separate the viruses from the bacteria. When the samples were analyzed, they observed that the sulfur was only found within the viruses in the liquid. Meanwhile, the phosphorus was found in the pellet where the E. coli was located. This suggested that the viruses inserted DNA into the bacteria and left behind a protein shell. When new phages were released from the bacteria, the sulfur-infected E. coli released normal, non-radioactive progeny with no labels, while the phosphorus-infected E. coli released progeny with the phosphorus label, further supporting the conclusion that DNA played a role in virus reproduction, but proteins did not. All my references will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.